Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brian. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, bud. Thank you, Jack. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Welcome to Q&A. That was beautiful, by Thanks. the way. I tried. I was Acapella. practicing my singing all day. Acapella. Hope we don't get a copyright strike. Um, so we'll see. But um, welcome, everybody, to an exciting new episode of Q&A. My name is Brian. I'm Jack. And before we introduce the rules, let's meet our teams. Hi, I'm Michelle. And I'm Olivia. And we're the Steve Jobs tribute band. Ooh. I'm Jesse. And I'm Emily. And, and we're, we're the, the Yardigans. Yardigans. Wow, that's incredible. Two great team names. If I had to pick a winner of the fashion side, I don't know which way I would go, but who cares? It's all about <laughs> <laughs> They're wearing matching outfits. They that's matched. incredible. Steve Jobs. But we're Christmas. That's true. All right, Dang. it's a tie. It's, it's a, a tie. tie. Now, before we get into any more spats, let's learn the rules of our game. So we're going to have five rounds of questions. Three of those rounds are going to be category-style questions, where there's going to be four categories, three questions each, a one-point, two-point, and three-point option. You're going to go back and forth picking between those questions. They're all going to be multiple choice. If you pick a question, you get it right. Your team gets the points assigned to that question. If you get it wrong, the other team does get the opportunity to steal. And if they get it right, they get the points. They also get it wrong. Nobody gets the points, and we we'll move on. Those are going to, we're going to keep going until we answer all the questions or we run out of time. In between those questions, we're going to have something called fast points. That's where those lovely buzzers come in. The f we're going to ask you guys a question. First person to ring in gets the opportunity to answer for their team. They get it right. They get a point. They get it wrong. Nobody gets a point. We're going to move on. After those five rounds, the team with the most points will move on to the face-off. We'll explain those rules a little bit later. But the other team will have to leave the show, and they will get less air time, which is why you guys are all here, right? Let's be honest. So before we get going, Let's get the rock, paper, scissors match to decide who's going first. So Emily, Olivia, please come on up. Best one of one. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, the Yardigans take it. That means the Yardigans will be going first. Olivia, you had a very impressive neck crack, though. So Thank that was you. That was good. <laughs> so Jack, what are our round one categories? We have National Football Conference, Toys R Us, Sharpies, and Contractions. Where would you guys like to go first? Toys R Us or Contractions? Contractions for three. Which of the following is not a real contraction? Mustn't, mightn't, therer. <laughs> C, therer. That is correct. That is correct. Let me get my, pe my uh, hair therer. pencil and not mark that off. <laughs> Steve Jobs um, Tribute Band, where would you like to go? We'll do 200, the same category. 200? 200. Didn't they just do, what did they do? Three. You mean for two? <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yes. Two. Contractions for two. I'm like, hey, big spender. What is the contraction for shall not? Shallant? Shan't? It's or shouldn't? It's B, I believe. B, that is correct. Yeah. Two points to you guys. Good start, everyone. <laughs> Toys R Us for three. Who founded Toys R Us? Charles Lazarus, John Lemon, or Gordon Hilton? Hmm. No. Hmm. Interesting. What was the name? Wait. Wait. Oh. <laughs> Charles Lazarus, John Lemon, or Gordon Hilton? I don't know. C. C. I'm sorry, incorrect. but that is incorrect. What do you guys? Chance to steal. Okay. Um, what do you think? I it? think A. I as well. I, yeah. A? Mm -hmm. I trust Michelle. All right, A is correct. Yes. Three points to you guys. Good and you job. get to pick the next question. Um, we'll do Toys R Us 2. Toys R Us 2. Who was the mascot? The Toys R Us mascot, excuse me. Was it Johnny the Giraffe, Jeffrey the Giraffe, or Jared the Giraffe? B. That is correct. Two points to you guys. You're on a roll. The Yardigans. Um, Sure. Contractions for one. What is the contraction for you are, your, your, or your? Hmm. <laughs> I'm going to have to go with C. C. C, your? Your. Your is correct. That's correct. It <laughs> helps that that was the only one with the contraction. Yeah. <laughs> Might have been why it was only worth one point. 
Hmm. Back over to the Steve Jobs Trivia Band. To um, recap, we have everything for the National Football Conference, everything for Sharpies, Toys R Us for one. You want to do Sharpies? Yeah, let's do some. Let's do Sharpies, Sharpies three. three. Sharpies for three, absolutely. Which of the following is a type of Sharpie marker? So two of them are not. Ultra fine, ultra fine ultra super fine, fine, or mega fine? Three words to describe myself. <laughs> so we're going to go with A. That is correct. Three points to you guys. Haven't missed a question so far. The Sharpies guys. for two. How many colors do Sharpie markers come in? 39, <laughs> 49, or 59? It is either A, B, or C. I can tell you that. Do you want to go? 30, was it 39, 49? 39, 49, or 59? C, go, no, B. We're going to go with B. B. <gasps> that is correct. Oh, my God. Ooh, that will be exciting. Two points to you guys. We still have some time left, so back over to you guys. Oh, okay. hey. What's... We have everything in National Football Conference. I believe one in Sharpies and one in Toys R Us. Yes, that is correct. What do you I know nothing about football. Let's do football for two. Okay. Football for two, <laughs> all right. Which team is not in the NFC? The Green Bay Packers, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, or the New England Patriots? Um, Wait, no, not in the NFC. That's less than the... <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 can they go back up? <laughs> yeah. You no, can look there. over here. Wait, well. I, I think, think it's, it's B. Okay, okay. I don't know. B, okay, B. 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 That's incorrect. See, I told you it's, it's fine. Uh, what is it? The, so it is, is the, the green, Packers it was or the, the green, Patriots? It was the Packers, Buccaneers, or Patriots. They answered one of those, but I'm not going to tell you. Maybe you should so pay it's, attention. No, I know which so one you guys answered. Oh, trash talk. <laughs> oh, my. So, Fights about a stunt. Patriots or Packers? Do you want to go big or go home? Patriots? Sure. Patriots. That's correct. Two points to you guys. And I think we have some time left, so we're going to go back to you guys. What is? Uh, we have NFC, National Football Conference, for one and three, and Toys R Us and Sharpies for one. This will be our last question. No. <laughs> okay, let's do Sharpies for one. Sharpies for one. What was the color of the first Sharpie marker? Black, brown, or green? I feel like this is a trick question. Hmm. It's black. <laughs> we black. would never. Black, A. Oh. That, that is correct. correct. One point to you guys, and that is going to be all the time we have for our first round. So let's see what our scores are. Ooh, a very tight game. The Yardigans with nine, but Steve Jobs Trippy Band with ten. So you know, the only way that this can go on, Jack, Hashtag, get, get your, your buzzers, buzzers ready. ready. All right, we are going to start reading off questions. Jack, oh, that is what happened. What did I do? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> Ring in when you know the answer. Jack, please start us off. Okay, let's not. <laughs> Question number one. What state became a state in 1681? <laughs> you do not get points off for incorrect guesses. Jack. Virginia. That is incorrect. No. No. You, well, <laughs> you do not get an opportunity to steal. Oh <laughs> Pennsylvania was the correct answer. Oh. Uh, All right. So Question number two. Is everybody good? <laughs> we are. We just don't win. <laughs> Question number two. What year was the game Super Mario Brothers released? 1995. Close. 1985. Oh. All right. Question number three, who was Super Bowl 53's MVP? <laughs> Five. Oh. Double OC. <laughs> very close, <laughs> Julian very, Edelman. Ju very close. <laughs> so maybe you guys will know this one. Question number four, Romeo and Juliet was written by who? Michelle. William Shakespeare. That is correct. Bill. <laughs> Question number five, who is the voice actress for Elsa in Frozen? I knew Menzel. That is, that is correct. correct. Adele Bazine. Um, question number six. Who wrote the play Rumors? Neil Simon. That is correct. Yes. Question number seven. Name two of the five sports included in the original Wii Sports. Jesse. Bowling and tennis. Correct. Except we would also accepted boxing, golf, or baseball. Question number eight. For the viewers at home. Question number <laughs> eight. Who played Austin Powers in the Austin Powers series? Oh my God, the, Mike Myers. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, we'll accept it, Mike Myers. <laughs> um, question number nine. What was the top grossing movie in the box office in 2004? Track two. <laughs> we'll accept it, that is correct. What? 
<laughs> question number 10. Final question. What? Yeah, we need to wrap up, I know. What is the tip of a shoelace called? That is correct. That may have been the longest fast points round in Q&A history. It happened. And we have a tie game, and we have no time to waste. So, Jack, what are our round two categories? Famous George's Oreos, name that city, and Gucci. And since you guys started the last round, we're going to have the uh, Steve Jobs tribute band start this round off. Yeah, three. Yeah, famous George's for three. Jack? Which George was king of Britain during the American War of Independence? King George the Third, King George the Fifth, or King George the Sixth? King George the Fifth. Mm -hmm. King George the Fifth. Sorry, that's incorrect. King George the Sixth. That's also incorrect. King, King George, George the Third. So you do not get points, but you do get to pick the next question. All right. Oreos. Sure. Oreos for three. Oreos for three. How many calories are in a in a single Oreo? Thirty-five calories, forty calories, or forty-five calories? See, that is correct. Three points to you guys. Over to you guys. Famous George. What no, the no, no can we do? Famous George's Oreos, name that city, and Gucci. Gucci. Three. Three. Gucci. <laughs> Gucci for three. <laughs> what was the most expensive item ever sold by Gucci? Sweater, jeans, diamond belt. I feel like it's a trick. Yeah. Um, jeans? Wait. That's mm. a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Five. I don't know. Four. Go. I trust the you belt, more. The belt. The belt. <laughs> the diamond belt is correct. <laughs> oh. Points to you guys. Gucci. Over to you guys. Um. George's for three. Do we do George's for three? Yeah, we, we do. have done George's yeah. for three. Okay. Can we do George's for two. Then? George's for two. George's for two. What film did George Clooney win an Oscar for Best Supporting Actor? Gravity, Suriana, or The Ides of March? I'd say A or C. I'd say A. A. That's incorrect. Over to you guys for two points. C. That is incorrect. Also incorrect. It was B. It was B. <laughs> it was B. Did you, did you guys so nobody just say gets that? any points. Over to you guys. To recap, we have famous Georges for one, Oreos and Gucci for one and two, everything and name that city. Name that city. Three. Name that city for three. Which Canadian city is nicknamed the Big Smoke? Vancouver, <laughs> Regina, or Toronto? I believe it is pronounced Regina. Regina? Okay. Um, C. Sure. Toronto is correct. Yes. Okay. Three points to you guys. And we have time for one more question. So back over to you guys. We have everything except Famous Georges for one and two, Famous Georges for one. Oreos for two. Oreos for two. Oreos for two. Final question of round two. What company produces Oreos? Hershey's, Nabisco, or Nestle? Nabisco. Nabisco, that is correct. Mm -hmm. Two points to you guys. Let's see what our, let's see what those scores are. Ooh, Ooh. Yard, very, very similar, very similar to the end. So Yardigans with 18, Steve Jobs with 19. So, Jack, what do they need to do? Hashtag, get your buzzers ready. That's every, all right. Again, let's not talk. <laughs> it's okay, it's sensitive. okay. They are very sensitive. They, they are like, us, very sensitive. Yeah. Yeah. So, same rules as before. Jack, please start us off. Question number one. What year did Phineas and Ferb premiere? Jesse. 2007. Correct. Jesse's on a roll. <laughs> Jesse is very quick on that buzzer. <laughs> All right. Question number two. What are Timmy's two fairy godparents? Cosmo and Wanda. That is correct. Question number three. Who is the main character of the popular series Dragon Ball? Goku. That is correct. correct. Hope you guys oh, hope that. you guys like cartoons. This is the, <laughs> the theme so far. In the in similar vein, question number four: Which two Major League Baseball teams play in Chicago? The Phillies and the Bears. Well, <laughs> the Bears are a football team. <laughs> Cubs play in Chicago. So it was White Sox and Cubs. <laughs> we'll move on. All right. Question, this one should be easier. Question 15. What is 12 plus 11? Oh, it's me. Oh. <laughs> 5, 4, 3, 21. Two. Uh, 3. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 23. 
We're, we're, we're fair at this show. Question number six. Okay. Yeah. What is LaSalle's newspaper called? That is correct. Question number seven. Who played Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean series? I doubt. That's correct. Question number eight. Excuse me. Question number eight. What was the first rocket to land on the moon? Michelle Belosi. <laughs> Sorry, it was the Soviet mission, Luna 2. Luna 2. Oh, Luna 2. Was she was the confused. second one. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Question number nine. What was Joe Jonas' character's name in Camp Rock? Shane Gray. <laughs> Correct. Well, I'm glad you know the important things. Um, and finally, question number 10. Name two of the four P's of the marketing mix. <laughs> Press. And publicity. Sir, <laughs> incorrect. It was, no, we I would have it. accepted product, price, promotion. place, or promotion. Mine buys again. With, I thought you meant like the vegetable. All right, we're wrapping up. We got. We're wasting time here. Let's. See. All right. Um, so we have backyard. Excuse me, the yardigans with 21, and Steve Jobs with 23. Jack, what are our round three categories? We have young adult fiction, bananas, vans, and Black History Month. And since you guys are trailing, we're gonna let you guys go first. Okay. Bananas for three. Bananas for three, Jack. <laughs> what are bananas classified as? Pums, berries, or droops? <laughs> A. Sure. A. Sorry, but that is incorrect. Incorrect. Um. B. <laughs> berries? Yes. That is correct. That is correct. Okay. I guess and I just like the word. You get three points and cool. the opportunity to pick the next question. Um. Mm, let's see. Young Adult Fiction? Is Young that Adult one? Fiction. Three. Young Adult Fiction for three. Yeah. What year was The Outsiders published? Okay, 1967, 19... 1968, or 1969? 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, 1967, do, would you like a recap Black of History what is left? Black History Month for, for three. three. Black History Month for three. Who created Black History Month? Martin Luther King Jr., Carter G. Woodson, or Nelson Mandela? Yeah, I was B. That is correct. correct. Three points to you guys. Back over <coughs> to the Steve Jobs review. Do Black History Month two. Black History Month for two. When was the first Black History Month celebrated? 1950, 1970, or 1990? Um, C, 1990. That's incorrect. That is correct. Two points to you guys. And you get to pick a final question of the round. So what can we do? You can do Young Adult Fiction for one or two, Bananas for one and two, Black History Month for one, Vans for everything. Vans for three. Okay, Vans for three. This is also not the final question of the round. Oh, okay. 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 Vans is, Vans for three. Oh. <laughs> Vans is the primary sponsor of what rock festival? Coachella? Warped Tour yeah, or Lollapalooza? Warped, warped Tour. That is correct. Three points to you guys. We still have some time left. I apologize about that. So back over to the Steve Jobs Tribute Band. Um, is, what about Young Adult Fiction 2? Young Adult Fiction 2. Two. Young Adult Fiction 2. Who wrote The Catcher in the Rye? William Golding, J.D. Salinger, or That's Holden B. Caulfield? B. That's correct. That's correct. Two points Very to confident. you guys. We've got plenty of time, apparently, uh. so we're going to go back over to you guys. Um, okay, what's, um, what's available? We have Bananas and Vans for one and two, Jungle of Fiction and Black History Month for one. Bananas. For two. Bananas for two. Bananas for two. What percent of DNA do humans share with bananas? I think it's 50. That's what I think. 50%, whatever C is. Yes, 9, 25, or 50%, and that is correct, 50%. Two points to you guys. We still got time, so go back to you okay. guys. Okay. <laughs> um, what's what left? Oh, Vans 2. Vans for 2? Yeah. What is Vans' slogan? A, just do it. B, nothing. impossible is nothing. Or C, off the wall. C. C? <laughs> correct. That is correct. What are you talking about? Totally A. That's just correct. <laughs> and this will be our final question there. Oh. So end us off on a high note. Wait. Everything for one point is left. Oh. Let's do bananas for one. Yeah. Bananas for one. All right, what country produces the most bananas? Brazil, Indonesia, or India? Brazil. 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 That's incorrect. Over to you guys. 
She what? said she knew it, so. No, no, can I? <laughs> B. I was also incorrect. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. India. India. Oh, I was thinking yeah. Venice. So, <laughs> nobody gets points for that round. And that ends our final round before our commercial break here. Jack, what's our score? We have Steve Jobs at 33 and the Yardigans at 31. <sighs> Unfortunately, the Yardigans, you will not. <laughs> well, <I'm sorry. laughs> Try to say it again. <laughs> Great time. Thank you. That's what, that's Happy what birthday, I thought Brian. Happy birthday, Brian. Thank you. At least we're kind. <laughs> Thank you. Steve Jobs tribute band. How are you guys doing? I feel great. I'm just powered. Can't Good. wait to beat Michelle. Good. Wow. So, looks like we're going to head into our commercial break, but we look forward to seeing everybody back where the Steve Jobs tribute band will have to play a song, and by that, they're going to have to go against each other. I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> All right, let's go. person you just saw, don't worry about it. <laughs> so we are back with our face-off round. Olivia, Michelle, I was going to say Steve Jobs should be banned, but teams are no more. Disbanded. Disbanded. It's, in, it's an individual they, they game. They kind of falling out. I always love Steve Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sure. Naturally. So you guys matched outfits, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to not match each other in teamwork. I guess. So yeah. yeah. Score. Okay, so, job. thank you. <laughs> this is the face-off round. It's very similar to our fast points round. The only difference is, well, one, you're playing for yourself. And if you get a question wrong, you buzz in and get the question wrong, you will not get any points off, but your opponent will get the opportunity to steal. So best of ten questions. You guys good? Yes. Ready? Cool. Jack, start us off. Question number one. What was the final score of the 2019 Super Bowl? Was it 6-3? Six, three. Six, three. Incorrect. Okay. Also incorrect. Also incorrect. 13 to three. 13 to three. Lowest scoring Super Bowl of all time. Hmm. I read that online. Question, <laughs> you knew it was gonna, yeah. Question number two, what state is known as the Sunshine State? Florida. That is correct, one point to Michelle. Question number three. <laughs> Who does the Ogre Shrek marry? Fiona. <laughs> Fiona. Correct. Correct. <laughs> There's not much more to that question. <laughs> uh, question number four. What is the main ingredient of Cheerios? Oats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whole grain oats. Yeah. We'll accept it. Question number five. What day of the week is it? It's Monday. Oh, that is it correct. Is Monday. <laughs> That was quick. I'm glad we used to have cowbells. I wouldn't have been able to no. call that. No. Yeah. Um, question number six. The Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam in the United States is built on what river? The Mississippi. That's incorrect. <laughs> Hoover Dam. We I gave you a clue um, that it's in the United States. Rivers. I don't know. <laughs> we'll pick state. Lake Michigan. Lake Michigan is incorrect. Mm. It was the Colorado River. Oh, Colorado River. Tough. Question number seven. What type of animal is Bambi? A deer. Yes. That's correct. correct. We would have accepted doe. Mm. A deer. It's, it's a, a female. A deer. 
Okay. Now we're definitely getting a copyright okay. strike. All right. Um, question number eight. Columbus is the capital of which state? Ohio. That is correct. Question number nine. Arby's is known for what kind of sandwich? A hamburger. Or the, 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 Incorrect. the shredded thing. Incorrect. Roast beef. That is yeah. correct. <laughs> the shredded hamburger. I was like, that, that would also would have been incorrect. Um, and our final question of the round. <laughs> I didn't. Our final question of the round, who is on the $20 bill? <laughs> no, wait. Well, Michelle, you rang Andrew in. Jackson? That is correct. That's correct. Okay. All right, what's our score at the end? Olivia, I one. Wonder. Olivia no. with... Olivia, one? <laughs> no, no. no, Olivia with a score of one. She Michelle with a score of seven. So, Michelle, we'll get to you in a second. <laughs> Olivia, this was your first time in Q&A. How do you feel? I feel defeated. Well, you... <laughs> I you, kept hitting the you made it pretty far. <laughs> you came in second. Yeah, you made it further mm -hmm. than Jesse and Emily did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Jesse, Jesse and Emily are about to attack Jack. But they they are. hold on for like two minutes. But we're glad you came on. <laughs> Come back. Thank you. Yeah, Michelle, you can actually please stay on stage. Uh, <laughs> Michelle, how do you feel? Is this your first time winning? This is my first time winning and wow. my third time being here. So wow. Yeah, I feel great. Proud. You've trained for this. I'm I assuming? really have. Yeah. yeah. Jack told me you asked to be a contestant like two weeks ago. So yeah, I did. Yeah. I was very excited for this this moment. And I was right sitting next to her. Okay. To rain my, well, I'm glad this is my victory. it finally paid off for you. But that's going to wrap up our another episode of here at Q&A. Jack, how can the, our viewers at home stay in touch with us? They can find us on Twitter, Twitter. on Facebook, Facebook, on Gmail, Gmail. on YouTube. YouTube. A more th a website. There's definitely a website. website. Yes. Yeah, there's so many places. Please stay in contact very, with very all of us here at Q&A. Or LaSalle TV in general, we're assuming you're watching on a television right now, so you can find all of our shows, sports shows, non-sports shows, Q &A everything here. else. But for everybody here at Q&A, for Nicole, for Jack, Jack, and for Brian, please have a nice day, and we'll see you.